slide three requirements of the life recovery residence. Attend all classes following the attend attached schedule and observe all house rules. Attend a Christian church on weekends. Outside recovery groups are allowed as a substitute. Um, work at maintenance or chores as assigned, approximately one hour a day, five days a week. So that will be um, assigned according to different buildings and different uh, programs they can participate in, whether it's helping with drop-in center or clothing centers or the thrift store. They also may be assigned to do janitorial work around the building. Um, they must stay completely clean and so sober. It's a zero tolerance program. It's not a uh, typical harm reduction setting. Uh, we believe in zero tolerance as the safest and the best way to recovery. Allowing staff to conduct room and spot checks and search personal belongings at our discretion. So they do not have uh, expectancy to a right of privacy in their room or their belongings. We do not do this lightly or, or flippantly or as a power trip, but we will do it as a deterrent for people uh, stashing stuff that's not allowed in their rooms. We will require them to submit a urine or saliva sample immediately if we suspect them and under supervision for drug and alcohol testing. Uh, we will have on-site drug and alcohol tests. When we have either a random drug test, just to keep everybody on their toes, that won't happen very often, or we have a suspicion. And uh, then we ask the person to take the, the test, they must comply, or we will take that as an admission of guilt. Completing chore assignments, um, and making outside appointments outside of class times. A lot of times the guys will try to find a, a way to get out of requirements by saying, I've got an appointment at this time. Um, so we really want them to make appointments with doctors if they need to or whatever else, but they should be doing that away from program times. At least they have to get permission ahead of time. 